warp, it'll pull that warp upside and down and keep it flat against the thing. Yeah, some German engineer Great grand, yeah, yeah. And they don't even make them anymore after that. That was probably the last yeah. one they make. That's how serious he was about his mind. Yeah, yeah, that tells you. That's why I know you got some good stuff from him. That's awesome. I mean, like, pick up that hip, just play, listen to it, clean it, put it away. That's it. You know what I mean? You want to, like, you know, how we do it. Yeah, the honest, uh, it's lucky if it makes it back in the right sleeve at my house. Yeah, Brown Carter played bass on this, and he also played with Herbie Hancock. As you guys probably heard, chilling out with my man Deep Crates here, Park Avenue Records. As you probably can tell, there's a lot of newly pressed stuff here. It's uh, a record store for the modern age. Tons of stuff. been in the area, Orlando area, for about three or four hours. This is our second shot we hit on this 2014 birthday dig.
Grab bags, VHS grab bags. Started with CD grab bags, and they blew up hard. Then seven inch to, grab bags. Then it went to LP grab bags. Okay. Then it went to seven inch. Then VHS, and then toy. Would you care to introduce yourself, sir? Tom DePaulo, manager of Park Ave CDs. And uh, I guess what are we doing here? We're just kind of scoping out record stores. Yeah, record stores from around the world. This is uh, Orlando, Florida. Uh, we're celebrating our 30 year anniversary in October. Can you tell us the history of the name and the location change and that yeah, kind of stuff? Yeah, we used to be on Park Avenue in Winter Park, um, right, at, right across the street from Rollins College. And uh, when we moved locations, we decided to keep the name because we had a pretty, you know, pretty good following. We didn't want to start all over again, you know, with a new name. And uh, yeah, that's the story of that. And now this will be uh, this October will be 30 years. Keeping it going. Keeping it going for real. Thank you. Place uh, is huge. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is actually uh, double the space of the old location, and. Uh, Totally necessary at this point, man. Especially with records coming back, you know. Yeah. It really helped save save the uh, save the industry. You got record store day next month. Any releases that you're particularly enthralled about, either personally or for the public? Uh, I've only seen two pages of releases, so I haven't seen a lot yet. Um, but the stack is like this so far. Uh, so there's just a ton of stuff coming out, but the one thing that I'm pretty excited about is the Ghostbusters soundtrack on Glow in the Dark Vinyl. Glow in the Dark Vinyl. Sick. Yeah. They did Poltergeist and Glow in the Dark last last uh, RSD, but uh, this should be pretty cool. Dude. Excited. Thanks for sharing the store with us. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm going to get back to the 45 bin and... Uh, you got it. Excuse me, sir. 
I don't mean to interrupt, but I was wondering who are you having a conversation with? Oh, no, I'm having a conversation with my man, Deep Crates. The Deep Crates? The Deep Crates. Uh, I can't show him right now, I'm sorry, but uh, he's definitely in the house, I hear him. Yeah. Yeah, it gets no deeper than that, man. It gets no deeper than that. So you're a fan of the Crate Show? Definitely, all the time, all the time. I check out his stuff. Can't even plant people like that. That's <laughs> how you know it's official. Exactly. I'm sitting there digging, and he's. Spike TV next year. Hopefully. He's big functional Crate Show half hour spinoff series. For real. All this stuff. The Neil Sedaka A track. Crates, thanks for taking me here, man. I might not take the $65 pre-hate machine, but yeah, I'm definitely fun. enjoying this dig. Are you buy anything? Oh, no, I definitely am. There's a bunch of stuff. Oh, this place is way too overpriced for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what you should probably get yourself... Are you pushing the Amable 7 then? Is this... $50, Sounds of International Airport Bathrooms. No record collection should be without that. Wow. Sounds like they call your name in a couple times, too. Authentic field recording. Plus one. Do you have a business card or something with the address and phone number I can close this out on so they can see? people. This is DJ Functual and Deep Crates signing off from Park Avenue.